Hello everyone, it's Logan here from LTA Productions, and we're going to be showing you my strongest Pokemon, including one break, two breakthrough evolutions, one Mega EX, and I don't know how many EX, EXs, but hold up, one, about four. So, I put them in here because I give my binders to my little brother Nathan. So let's open this sucker. My Mega yep, EX is Mega Nathan. My Mega Houndoom EX, 210 health, and you see the Japanese writing that actually says Inferno Fang, 80 plus damage. You may discard all Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this does 80 more damage. And this um. Evolves from Houndoom EX. And my Raychu Breakthrough with the Grand Bolt right here. It discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. And it does 170 attack damage. And 130 health. And the Breakthrough Evolution rule is... Raichu reta retains the attacks, the attack abilities, weakness and resistance, and retreat cost of previous evolution. All right, I'm back over at the side now. Just because of some technical reasons, and this is Chestnut Breakthrough Evolution with 190 health and the Tough Hammer. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply re weakness and resistance to ben for benched Pokemon. These are my two breakthroughs, and we're finally done with the breakthroughs. And the Mega Evolutions. Now we're going to go to the um, Full Art. This is Palkia, and with 120 HP, with Wave Splash, I can do 30, and Cross Slicer. Your opponents can't attack an energy from his or her hand until the defending Pokemon during his or her next turn. This is the basic full art. And a very good one if I can find him. I don't think I'll be able to find him though. Okay. Oh, where is that guy? He's, he's a good, okay. Here he is. Heislorn. With 100 HP, stage 1 evolves from Swinim. He has Ice Beam that can do 20 damage. Flip a coin. If heads, defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Quintable Headbutt. 40 times. Flip five coins is tacked as 40 damage times the number of heads. So if you get all of them on heads, that means you can do 200 attack damage, which is pretty good. But if he survives the next turn, which only 100 health, sadly, he won't you know, survive. But now, Metagross.